Hello Android developers, welcome to another tutorial on how to use Google Map activity in your Android Studio. And for that, we are going to use Google Map API. So what is Google Map API? It is a set of tools that allow you to integrate Google Maps data and its functionality into your own app wherever you want. To use the API, you have to create a Google Cloud project to obtain an API key. So what we are going to do in this, we are going to obtain an API key by creating a Google Cloud Platform project. and integrate that into our Android Studio app. Please watch this video till the end. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and enable notifications so that you never miss my new videos. So let's start and first launch the Android Studio and click on the new project. Select the empty views activity. Click next. You can give your name gmap activity. Let's keep everything the same. The language is Java. There's no problem. Build configuration is Kotlin. That's also okay. Finish. So while it is loading, we will first create the API and for that we are going to search for Cloud Console and here Google Cloud Platform, click on that. This is my dashboard. You can see welcome my name and uh, we can click on create or select project and here you can create new project. So here you can give the project name. Remember, in the beginning, it may ask for your some details about payment information, but it doesn't charge until it is crossing $300, which is enough. Let's give a project name. So let's call it my map project location. Let's, let's call it no organization and let's create. And it is creating the project now. Then you select the project. Now you come to dashboard where there's a project info, API, status, monitoring, everything. You can go to API overview and then go on credentials and click on create credentials. Click on API key. Here is your API key. Just copy this. And you close this you can anytime see your api key by clicking on show key if you click on this you can see the name of api key you can change it and this key right now for our project is unrestricted you can set a restriction to which website or ip address or android app it's gonna use so just don't restrict the key and save when you press the show key you can see again the api key which you're gonna use it so you can come back to our project so first thing which we are going to do is go to manifest, open the manifest.xml. So here since we are going to use a lot of external interface, so we have to use the permission. So write uses permission android colon name equal to android dot permission dot access fine. location the second permission we're gonna have is Android permission dot internet third permission we are gonna have is Android permissions dot access network state and also another permission we are gonna have is Android permissions dot access course location so these are four permissions which we need here. Now for adding the API, come all the way below this activity and here write meta data name equal to under the quotes com dot google dot android dot geo dot api key and then we write android value of the key is we go back to see our api key and then we click on show key and copy click copy here and paste it and we close the metadata here and we also need to add dependencies on gradle so go to gradle script and go to build.gradle uh, app level and come all the way here so here you have to write implementation com dot google dot android dot gms dot colon play services apps colon 18 dot zero dot one and since we have added an implementation, we have to sync the project now. 
now you have your main activity dot java and android underscore main dot xml open in front of you so let's go to first android uh, main dot xml go to code and here you can see the text view which we will delete and uh, we also would like to change it to relative layout and now let's write inside the relative layout fragment width will be match parent and height will be match parent close it here we will also give an id let's call it id map we need to also give a name com dot google dot android maps dot support app fragment now come to main activity create a private google map gmap and it is since red import the class you can see google map class is imported now inside the set content view we will write support map fragment map fragment is equal to inside the bracket support map fragment get get support fragment manager find fragment by id r dot id dot map below that we will write map fragment dot get map async and inside write this now there is an error in this because we have to write here after the extends app compact activity implement on map ready callback click ok the id we have written as id map yes so that's the error yeah so once we're done with this just run the project and you can see our program is successfully launched and but you can see the map zoom level is not so good and also there are no other interfaces available so let's build them so inside the on map ready function we have to write lat lng location equal to new lat lng you have to find the coordinates let's find the coordinates of uh, copenhagen see you can just try to search copenhagen coordinates and coordinates appearing in the google copy them exactly and paste inside the brackets uh, delete these units uh, we don't need them and then uh, below that you write google map dot add marker new marker options dot position location so it will add the position and also we have to provide title title copenhagen because we are uh, putting a marker on copenhagen city colon and then you have to write google map dot move camera inside the bracket you have to write camera update factory dot new lat lng zoom inside the bracket right location comma 12 so that's a 12 is our zoom level the default zoom level which we which when the program is launched you can write other options also but this version of google map services is sufficient for you to do most of the camera functions if you're using the old implementation then you have to write some extra settings yeah ui settings and all you can add uh, scroll zoom something like that but you don't need here let's run the program now and uh, so now it is launched successfully and you can see that zoom level it is showing the city also the marker you can zoom it scroll it even there is compass function available if you rotate it slightly you can see the compass and you can bring it back that's it guys uh, the map function is ready so i hope you like this video please comment once again please subscribe my channel thank you